Money. Everybody wants it, everybody loves it. It's probably the most important part of Hypixel as a game. Which is why everyone, and I mean everyone, has covered how to efficiently get money. Which is why I will be innovating, breaking new ground, and showing you how to get money the least efficiently. This video will have some rules. The first one is that the method has to make more than zero coins per hour. This is because it would be kind of just lazy and boring to say, well, the worst money-making method is voiding Hyperions and Devon drills forever, because you could just make negative a lot <laughs> per hour. Or the worst money-making method is doing literally nothing, which makes zero coins per hour. It, that's just not fun. And rule two is that I can sabotage myself before each method, but once I start doing the method, I have to at least try to be as efficient as possible, so I don't just, like, say, oh, I will mine one stone and then take a break for an hour, and that's, like, four coins an hour. That's, again, it's just boring. And also, I will be selling the items to Bazaar if InstaSell is more profitable, or NPC if the NPC is more profitable. Just so I can get the quote-unquote maximum money out of each method. Also, keep in mind that I'm only human. I'm not going to know every single one of the worst methods to make money in Hypixel. And I'm sure there are some that are worse out there than what I have on the list. Except for the last one. I have no idea how you can get worse than the last method on this list. And just for fun, I'm going to see how many hours it takes for each method to buy the lowest bin Wither Impact Hyperion, which is like the most iconic thing in Hypixel. Warning, some of these numbers get really silly. Now, jade farming, it's, uh, pretty well-known and lucrative. If you do it right, that is. I'm actually an expert in mining incorrectly. So, I've got a full set of Devon armor. Won't be needing that on. I've also got a Heart of the Mountain tree that's, like, not good for gemstones, but it helps with gemstones, so... We will also not be needing that. Yep, there goes my Heart of the Mountain. And now I will be using, not my Gemstone Gauntlet, because that would have Pristine on it. I will be using a Unenchanted Pick of Nimbus for 15 minutes of Jade Mining. Let's see how it goes, starting now. And there's time. Let's see how many gemstones I got. I'm sure I made plenty of money there. And in total we have 5,000 rough jade. Alright, let's see what this turns into. Oh my god. <laughs> At the bazaar, not, <laughs> not including the wishing compasses, at the bazaar that sells for about 18k coins. That's a juicy 80k per hour mining jade. What a absolute beautiful grind right there. In order to buy a Wither Impact Hyperion at this rate, it would take... 21,750 hours, 906 days, or two and a half years, almost, of straight Hypixel to buy Hyperion. That's a pretty long time. But you know what doesn't take a long time? Click on the subscribe button, and it would help me a lot. Oh, also did I mention, this is the best method on the list. It only gets worse from here. Originally, for a farming-based method, I was going to do hub netherwort farming, but that made way too much in a solid 200k an hour. So I settled on oasis animals, which is far worse. So I'm going to start a 15-minute timer, see what I get. I will not be using looting, and I will be using no speed-increasing armor, because that would help too much. And I'll be starting now. Uh, 
Alright, last five seconds. And time. In total, made 13k coins. That's, like, not terrible. But just kind of whack. In an hour, that's about, like, 50k coins-ish. Yeah, again, it's it's still much worse than Nether Wart, even the hub Nether Wart punching, but it's still not the worst, honestly. And to buy a Hyperion using Oasis Animal Farming, it would take 3.68 years. Again, this is assuming you play 24-7. Next up on the list, we've got a combat-based money-making method. And it's actually not hub zombies like I thought it would be. But actually, it's Creeper. Oh man. These guys have such a low spawn rate that I have a sneaking suspicion, pardon the pun, that they might actually be less efficient than graveyard zombies. However, because gunpowder sells for so much more than rotten flesh, I do need to kill less than one creeper for every five zombies I would be killing. And I'm still going to pretend that I'm doing this efficiently. Alright, let's see what we got. Should put away this one egg. Don't want to scuff my numbers. And got 139 gunpowder. That's a solid on the bazaar. 2,700 coins. Plus the 720 coins from actually killing the creepers. That's like about 12k per hour. Which is still pretty terrible, don't get me wrong. But it's still not the worst on the list somehow. As for the Hyperion test, this test is where the numbers start to get really silly. As it takes 14.19 years to get a Hyperion using this method. Here's where we start to get into the really terrible ones. I'm talking like sub 1k per hour. And to start off, we have the worst minion, the fishing minion. More specifically, a tier 1 fishing minion with a budget hopper. Because even though I'm pretty sure the fish sell higher to the bazaar, I'm not the person selling it, so it bypasses my own arbitrary rule. With the fishing minion taking a whole 78 seconds per action, and only making an average of... 8.6 coins per action, that brings its coins per hour down to 396 coins per hour. Before you factor in the budget hopper, which halves that to a measly 198 coins per hour. That means even with max minion slots, you're only making just over 6,000 coins per hour. But we're not using max minion slots, we're using one. For one poor tier 1 fishing minion to buy a Hyperion, they would need to slave away for over a thousand years. Let any fish that meets its gaze learn the true meaning of fear, for it is the harbinger of death, the bane of sea creatures subaqueous. Its rod is true and unwavering, as it casts into the aquatic abyss. A minion scorned by this uncaring earth finds solace in the sea, its only friend, the worm upon its hook wriggling, writhing, struggling to surmount the mortal pointlessness that permeates this barren world. It is alone, it is empty, and yet, it fishes. Before we get into the worst money-making method in all of Hypixel Skyblock, I'd like to go over quick honorable or dishonorable mentions. The first one would be AFKing the Emerald Ring and Talisman of Coins, which... I didn't feel necessary to include on this list because its output is actually very similar to one fishing minion. And the second dishonorable mention would be bizarre flipping, because while you can make a hell of a profit if you bizarre flip right, you can also make extremely small profit if you do it wrong enough. Theoretically, you could make 0.1 coins per flip, however, that still just isn't bad enough. What could this number one worst method be that makes less than 0.1 coins per interaction? I'm actually going to give you three seconds to pause and take a guess in the comments. Three, two, one, and... 
The worst money-making method in Hypixel Skyblock is something that I showed you in the first seconds of this video. It's the bank. You see, the bank gives you 2% interest on your first 10 million coins every 31 hours. But let's say you didn't have 10 million coins in there. Let's say you had just 50. That means that every 31 hours, the bank would give you 0.1 coin. To put into perspective just how comedically bad this money-making method is, if I went back in time 5 million years ago to give the first proto-human access to Hypixel and immortality and told them to just do this forever, they would finally be able to buy their Hyperion about a million years from now. And even then, Donkey Kong here probably would okay. get his Hyperion before Forge and gets an update.